Hi fellow crafters. I learned a new fun fold this week and I can't wait to share it with you. It looks super complicated, but I promise it's super easy to make. Would you like to learn how? If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, thanks for popping by. My name is Terry and I am nuts about stamping. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. I'll link to my online stores in the description box under this video in case you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet. Be sure to watch all the way through this video for my bonus tips and design ideas. Now, shall we get started? This fun fold idea is perfect for using up leftover bits of your designer series paper. For my fun fold card, I will be using the A Walk in the Forest pack. The color scheme and tree images make this paper a natural fit for winter crafting and for Christmas cards. And here's a fun fact. With every purchase of this paper pack, Stampin' Up! will donate $2 to support organizations dedicated to spreading cheer and providing support to those in need. So in a roundabout way, if you buy a pack of this paper, you too will be supporting great causes. I will also be using my Shop the Town stamp set. This is a super fun set for building a Christmas village and then decking it out for the season. And when the holiday season ends and a new year begins, you can use these stamps to set a quaint village scene without the festive decor. Now for today's card, I'm going to be using the Christmas tree image so let's start with that. I have a piece of basic white cardstock and I have the Christmas tree image ready to go. I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink to ink up the stamp and to stamp it in the center of this layer. And then what I'm going to do is use my Balmy Blue Stampin' Blends to color in the tree. And I'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like and then what we're going to do next. All right, I've got this partly colored. Now what I want to do is take my Crushed Curry Dark Stampin' Blend and you can see maybe in the image that there are these Christmas tree lights. So I'm going to color these yellow along with the star at the top. All right, I have that done. Now for my next step, I want to add some glitter to the snow or the garland, I guess, that's wrapped around this tree. Now in the annual catalog, there's a product called Enamel Basics and it's really cool. Mine hasn't arrived yet, so I'm gonna do a cheat. I'm going to take some of our older dazzling details and I'm going to add this. It's like a glitter glue, I guess, and I'm going to add that to the garland on the tree and then I'm going to set it aside to dry. So while that is drying, what I wanna show you next is how to use up some of the scraps of the designer series paper that you have. I know you have them lying around. And we're going to use some of the designer series paper uh, to add some visual interest to, to this fun fold. So I have eight pieces of the A Walk in the Forest designer series paper. And for each one of them, I want to layer them onto a strip of basic white. And I'll do that using my multi-purpose liquid glue. One. Now those need to dry a little bit. And while they're doing that, I've got two pieces of balmy blue cardstock and I have another design in the A Walk in the Forest designer series paper. And I'm going to adhere these together. All of these pieces will be adhered to the panels of the fun fold in a few minutes. So I'll adhere those and I'll be back. And now it's time to create our fun fold. Now what I'm going to do is use two pieces of pretty peacock cardstock. I've already got them cut and scored, so let me put the measurements for the cutting. And then 
you want to bring in your Simply Scored. Let me get mine here. And for each of these folds, you want to lay them out the long way across your Simply Scored, and you want to score them at one inch, two inches, six inches, and seven inches. You do the same for both of them. One inch, two inches, six inches, and seven inches. And then for each one, you want to create a valley fold and a mountain fold, a mountain fold and a valley fold. So it ends up like that. So let me show you again. You've got a valley fold, a mountain fold, a mountain fold and a valley fold, and it wants to, you want it to have it look like that when it's done. So now, let's adhere these to our card base. Now my card base is going to be six by six this week. So it does create a larger card, but it's so stunning. And let me reassure you that you can find six by six envelopes. So you can purchase them either online or go to your local stationery store and I'm sure they'll have them there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to adhere these fun fold pieces that we've created. One at the top, and then the second one will be at the bottom. So what we're going to do is just adhere this particular panel first. So let me do that using my multi-purpose liquid glue. So I'm going to, I need to bring it just a bit closer to me so I can see. You want to line it up so that it starts at the top and lines up perfectly along the side. So let me just adjust it a little bit. That's why we use multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I'm not going to adhere all the rest of it down just yet. What I'm going to do is take the second panel and I'm going to adhere it at the bottom. Now this one you want to really be cautious about lining up. If you want this fun fold card to stand up, then you need to line this up perfectly along the bottom, like so. Okay, so now what we wanna do is take all of these panel pieces that we've created and we want to adhere them onto these fun folds before we attach this other side. It's much easier to do it now while we can lay it flat. So what I'm going to do is adhere these larger panels to the center and then these smaller panels to the side pieces. So I'll go ahead and I'll adhere these down using my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'll be back in a moment. I have all these panels adhered to my fun fold pieces and while they're drying, let me ask you this. Would you like to see more fun fold ideas? Let me know by writing fun folds in the comments section underneath this video. Now what we're going to do is just set this aside to dry for a second and I'm going to bring back in my Christmas tree image. And I don't know if you can see the sparkle that was created by the glitter glue. What I want to do next is I want to adhere this to a layer of Pretty Peacock. Now, I'm not sure that my glitter glue is dry. That is one big disadvantage to glitter glue is it takes a long time to dry. So, I'm going to do what I would never recommend you do, <laughs> and that is put glue on the bottom layer and then lay your panel on top. But I think it's safe to do that, and we'll set that aside to dry. And then what we want to do next is we want to bring in this fun fold section, and I want to adhere it to the bottom right part of this card base. So I'm going to add, add, add some multi-purpose liquid glue here and some multi-purpose liquid glue here and adhere these two pieces down. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how this fun fold is shaping up. Now the next thing I want to do is bring in my Pretty Peacock ink 
And in the Shop the Town stamp set, there is this phrase that says, wonderful wishes to you. So let's add that phrase to this panel. And there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this panel to the fun fold. Now before we do that, let me show you something so super cool. Remember I said to make sure that you attach this panel at the very bottom of the base? Well, if you do that, then this fun fold stands up vertically, which I think is awesome. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to adhere the top part of this front panel to this fun fold and the bottom part to that fun fold using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Want to see another fun fold card idea? Then why not watch this video next? So now it's time to talk embellishments. And I think what I'm going to use are these adhesive back glitter dots. I think since we're going with the glitter theme, let's add a few of these dots to the card. And there we go, the fun fold is almost done. Now I do wanna let you know that you'll be able to lay this down and slip it into a six by six envelope. Actually, it's a little bit bigger than six by six because this is six by six. So you can lay it flat for mailing. Somebody asked me about that last week and I really appreciated the question. Um, and I hadn't addressed it in a previous video, so I want to make sure that you know that every card idea that I share with you will be able to be slipped into an envelope. Now, a final idea for this card is on the back, because you might have been wondering, well, where do I write a message? You can turn it over and you can write your message on the back. The other thing you can do is you can add a layer of pretty peacock and a layer of basic white, that will create an additional lovely panel idea. It'll add some strength or sturdiness to this fun fold idea. And then with the basic white, you'll be able to write your message or stamp and write a message alongside of your stamped message. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for all of these pieces, I will link to my blog article in the description box under this video. You can link over there and get all the information you need along with product ordering numbers in case you want to order the Shop the Town stamp set and the A Walk in the Forest designer series paper, which I will remind you supports a great cause. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.